This is table 7.58, and I'm going to try to use a Carnell map to find the minimum number of logic gates I need to figure out what the output I is in terms of inputs A, B, C, and D. So these are my inputs, these are my outputs. I'm going to focus only on column I in this example. So when you have a Carnell map, it will result in the circuit with the fewest number of logic gates if you do it properly. So you want to label these axes 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. Notice the flipping of the normal sequence here. Same thing on this one. And as you fill this in, you see that you can do these four right here. And that's the case where A and B are equal to zero. It's right here. So notice how I do this. I have to go one, 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 zero, one, 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 zero. And then I do the next four, which is one, 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 zero. And then I come down here and do those. But notice that if there were some ones in here, I have to go all the way over here because you see that's uh, the one zero column for AB. So I'm filling it in in the correct order here. So if I'm trying to find an equation uh, that corresponds to the minimum circuit here, I want to circle a large group of ones. So there's a largest group of ones I can do as part of the Carnell map process, groups of 2, 4, 8, and so forth. If um, I look at each of these cells and I figure out what changes and what stays the same, I first notice that B changes, so it doesn't appear in that term, in the first term. But I notice that A remains off, so I put A not. Also, if I look at the values of C and D as I go through those four cells, I notice that C is off all of the time, but D changes, so it's not a term that I need in this equation. Now, let me first do this uh, next uh, part here incorrectly, and then I'll show you the right way. If I just did those two right there, I get a term that would correspond to not A. I would notice that B is not there. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't appear in this term because it changes as I go between those two cells. Also, I notice that C and D do remain the same. C remains high, D remains low. Now, if I were to build a circuit that um, matched this uh, Boolean expression, that represented this Boolean expression, it would result in this particular truth table. But this is not the minimum circuit because there is a way to get a bigger group of ones and that is to wrap these around like this vertically. So you can wrap around on Carnell maps. And all that really does is now allows us to go through four cells and then we notice that uh, actually um, it looks like uh, D remains off but now C changes so it's no longer a term. So now if we created a circuit that had uh, that uh, represented this logic expression, it would also satisfy this one, but it has one fewer input, and therefore you could use a, say, a two input AND gate rather than a three input AND gate in this particular case. Now, if we wanted to write out the sum of products for I, you know, without using a Carnell map and see how it compares, what we could do is just Notice that what we're going to have is one, two, three, four, five, six terms that all have A, B, and C in there. We notice that the first term has A, B, and C all off. Oops, looks like I left something out there. These are there are four terms in this one. So I need to put a D in each one of these. So D is off as well. Okay, and then we look at uh, this next case right here, and it is that. And then I look at the next one, and it's zero zero one zero 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 one zero. 
and then I go down to this one here and this guy here 0101 zero, one, zero, one. and then finally this one 0 1 1 0 so it is possible to use sorry about that it is possible to use Boolean algebra to uh, simplify that into this other expression that we had previously gotten with the Carnell map. It's possible to simplify all of this down to just that using uh, Boolean theorems, but a Carnell map is a simpler way to get to the minimum circuit.